done with Ziggy. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> 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 So that's typically what the uh, what the uh, resistivity looks like in in bulk uh, bismuth antimony at at ten percent, and uh, <coughs> the value here uh, uh, is somewhat high if you want to attribute that to a single <coughs> quantum of conductance. But if you we now it's more, it's more, much more conducting, in fact. Right. Now, if you keep reducing the the, uh, the crystal dimensions, so uh, so what what we have done to date is gone from, uh, let's say, the width going from uh, a uh, uh, a millimeter to about 10 microns, and then this can be extended, but we don't have results below 10 microns. So the, the the motivation, of course, is that you know as you get a smaller cross section, the surface should start to be dominant, yeah. right? So that that's the basic idea, and indeed the trend is quite promising, you know. So so do, 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 this is basically what what you see. The, 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 the resistivity or resistance? right. So I'm plotting uh, resistance at this stage, right? You're plotting resistance. 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 Yeah. But if you want to change the width, then... Oh, no, no. Oh, well, okay. So, la, 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 la. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm drawing this on memory, right? So now, the, the basic idea then is resistance is the wrong thing to plot. You should plot conductance, right? Because uh, naively, the conductance should be the sum of the bulk and a surface uh, conduction, right? So so is the, is the observed conductance uh, due to the bulk plus the surface term? And the the uh, if you invert this to get the conductance, uh, you get something like this. And and now we we uh, let uh, the experiment tell us how much surface do you want to count? Do you do you do you count the perimeter of four surfaces or do you just count the top crystalline surface? Right? Because these things cleave very nicely, unlike pure bismuth. So you can get some control over the uh, crystallinity. And it turns out that if you count the perimeter, right? so the perimeter is uh, W plus thickness times 2, then uh, we find that actually you, you do get a, a universal value. So expressed, oh, so in addition, you need to express the, the final saturation value as a, a sheet conductance. So when you do that, you get a universal value. And uh, right now, we are trying to do it for various uh, concentrations, uh, sort of bracketing what Zahid had. Uh, it changing just, uh, X. X, changing X, yeah. And, and this, this raises all kinds of interesting directions, but uh, they haven't been explored. So for example, if you're confident that when you're down to 10 microns, it's all surface, will you see a quantum Hall effect, 2D quantum Hall effect? But unfortunately, the mean free path is too short to see that yet. Uh, and, and we haven't gone down low enough in temperature. So then, then the other question is, uh, what about the magnitude, right? So the magnitude now, if I take the, so this is the surface conduction expressed per unit square. This comes out to be something like 10 to the 4 in, in, in units of uh, quantum conductance. And that, you know, at first that looks astonishingly high, but then that is like the Chauvin uh, resistance problem. You know, when you're trying to support two-dimensional states, uh, how, 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 how many modes, right, if, you, if your sample has, uh, let's say, a perimeter P, how many modes can you support? And, and we thought that the answer should be the ratio of the perimeter to the Fermi wavelength. But it depends. It depends. It's either going to yeah. be that, or it's going to be the mean free path. Right. So, so it's yeah. probably going to be right. KFL. Yeah. So yeah, that's right. So for the ballistic regime, it's this, but for the you know these are very large samples, about 200 microns in length. You probably need to to take in the mean free path. Yeah. So so if you do the same measurement for the sample which is not in the isolating region, then you should see 
it's 3D. Uh, oh, I mean for, for, for less than 9%. But, but, but the surface may still be a better conductor than the bulk. Uh, but bulk has much more weight. I mean, well, it, it depends how, obviously, if you, if you make it big, then, then the bulk is, is always going to win. Yeah. But, but um, the surface is probably a much better metal than the bulk is. The so, 3D density stays very low. Yeah. Uh, that can be done, but uh, we haven't tried it yet. Because uh, you can play the same trick at one place with graphene. <coughs> yeah. These things can cleave, but not, not to a single monolayer. We think something like 100 uh, layers. But we don't really know, so we, we haven't tried to get it yet. So in our case, do you see all number of passes only? Only on certain materials. No, no, no. This map, this map is even, but that's not. Uh, that's not. The, maybe I was not very clear about it. What I meant here, is whether it may not be going through a transition, is that I do not have resolution to see whether the gap, how things are closing, right? The, all I meant that there may be a tiny gap. Yeah. And, and then I may be off the right concentration. Uh, but this map has four surface states, not five. So that, I mean, that is a separate issue. But the, what I meant is that I want to find a bulk connection of this thing, that the bulk is different from antimony. So bulk can be things like transport and business LNI? Yeah, yeah. But there, is that number smaller? No, we haven't done this yet. There, the um, doping is from vacancy. Oh, it's so a so ball 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 ball. Ball. The bulk is probably over. Uh, now it's good. Yeah. Yeah. So you want, uh, we want the material to be dirty. Well, we'll try to tune. We want, want to be undoped. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah no, 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 ideally, undoped. If you cannot yeah, yeah. achieve yeah. that, make it dirty. Well, from Zahid's experiment, yeah. it looks like, yeah, if we get cover to put in dolphins, so we can suck out all the bulk. Right? Yeah, I mean, the gap is so big, it might not be as hard. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. the narrow gap things are hard to yeah. compensate. Yeah, because yeah. you mess. Yeah, yeah. But it, the gap is. Yeah. It's very large. It's 0.35 EV. It's actually larger than LDA calculation. <clears throat> Okay, well, let's thank you.